Hi, this is Dr. Eric Westman again at the grocery store. Why would a doctor be at the grocery store? Well, because what you eat really matters. So this video, let's see what kinds of things you can have. Uh, starting up in the vegetable section, I, you know, I'm going to pick some of this today just for what I want. But so you can have Brussels sprouts, of course, cabbage. I'm on the outside of the grocery store, which is a useful rule of thumb. Um, you know, sugar snap peas, I just don't want it today. You want to stay away from the really starchy things on a low carb diet. And I'm going to take you through what you might have on, uh, gosh, a uh, 20 gram or less uh, kind of approach. You might see this as the beginning or, or the uh, fallback position if things aren't working for you. Uh, so anything green and leafy is fine. Uh, the kale, the Swiss chard. Um, carrots are a little starchy, don't want those. Uh, this week I'll have some zucchini squash. Um, that's fine. Of course, artichokes are good as well. And asparagus, uh, that's one of the workhorse vegetables. Asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, the ABCs. Um, green beans, fantastic. Um, uh, low in carbs. Of course, the starchy beans are out, but green beans are fine. Uh, want to stay away from those, uh, I think, yellow potatoes and um, peppers are great. Um, I'm just not going to choose them today. Um, cauliflower, of course, is another workhorse vegetable, um, which would be fine. Broccoli as well. Um, celery is great, especially for crunchy things. Uh, a little celery with cream cheese is fabulous. Green onions, fine. Vegetables from salad or leaky greens like uh, lettuce and um, different types of lettuce. This time, why don't, why don't we do some parts of romaine? Um, of course, if you're early under 20 grams or you're wanting to go back to a fallback position, you'll want to stay to about a cup of the non starchy veggies and then a um, two cups of the leaky greens um, for those who are starting out or want to go back to the 20 grams of carbs per day. But so basically this vegetable aisle is almost all fine except for the real starchy things and um, a common mistake is to eat too many vegetables. Uh, if you've been, been doing a low fat diet you've probably been told you can eat as many vegetables as you want but that's not true on a low carb diet because the um, vegetables and um, uh, leafy greens do have some carbohydrate in them. But uh, it's great to have uh, at the beginning about two cups of the leafy greens and one cup of the non starchy vegetables. One rule of thumb is to stay to the outside of the grocery store where all the, the power is so that the fresh foods are out here because that's where, uh, you know, you could even have things like salad in a bag. I, I'm not going to get that, but a lot of my patients use that. The baby kale, baby spinach mixes, these are fine. Why not uh, have some salad dressing on there too? Um, and when you look at salad dressings, um, you want to look at, of course, the total carb. Like we uh, teach people to only look at the total carb level, one gram of total carbs, and the serving size is about two tablespoons, which is that's pretty typical for a salad dressing. So I'm going to go for this one. Never had it before. Uh, you know, one of the things I teach people to do is to test new things that you've um, you've never tried. Um, a lot of people will just kind of paint themselves into a corner. Why not try new things? Um, uh, I had a patient this week um, uh, who really liked uh, Mexican food, and um, we talked about having salsa and things like that. Let's see how this one is made. It has two carbs for about two tablespoons and you can make your own or, or you get the store-bought salsa, I'll, I'll choose that one. Um, now we're not going to get any of those fruit cups. Gosh, I had someone come in today, a new new patient, and she was, thought she was doing everything right. She just was having fruit in these little fruit cups and, um, uh, and there you are, 26 carbs for the container and that's way sky high if you're staying under 20 for the day. Um, you know, for um, uh, the starter, you just want to stay away from any of these kinds of fruits um, and uh, yeah, stay away from those guys. <laughs> so today we're talking about what you can eat on a 
low carbohydrate diet, um, going around the grocery store a little bit here, um, looking at the rotisserie chicken. Uh, you know, if I'm really in a pinch, don't want to cook anything at all, uh, you might pick up one of these rotisserie chickens that are already done at the grocery store for you. Um, I'm going to go to one of my favorite sections now, which is the cheese sections. Uh, yeah, we'll pass by the, gosh, pizza's already made for you. Mm. Smells good, but I'm not going to have that. Um, so, for those of you who've uh, come through the clinic, you've probably um, been told, or, or uh, 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 I have a little bit of a conflict of interest because I grew up in Wisconsin, where is one of the cheese states uh, in the United States, so I, I'm a big cheese fan. But um, let's see now, this extra sharp cheddar, um, I'll ask people to try new types of cheeses because, gosh, um, they have so little carbs in them. Um, of course, the cheese, oh, oh, there it is on the label here, uh, total carb, zero gram. Well, that's hard for me to believe. I would ca count this like most cheeses as one gram per serving or, or again, limited at first to about two ounces, uh, three ounces for the day. Um, if you're trying to stay under 20 carbs at a time. But look at all these fantastic cheeses. Um, any of these would be fine. Um, and uh, some of you know how to make cheese crisps with Parmesan and um, other kinds of cheese in the microwave. That's kind of a handy thing to do. Um, there's some Parmesan. And, um, I kind of like my kids got me interested in these Baby Bell uh, cheese, the nice little snacks to carry around. Um, I'll pick up some of those. So basically the, the cheese and um, uh, we've been through the vegetable section, the cheese section. These are the great things to start out with. Um, there's a, a question on uh, this Facebook Live. What about the, um, oh, first before I get to that, here's some great olives and, and mushrooms. And I'm going to get them actually in the jar, I think, rather than have to put them in my own box today. Um, there's a question about um, um, soybean oil in the dressings and all. Yeah, so this is the low-carb teaching based on carbohydrates only. I'm not getting into the food quality type of, of teaching because, you know, honestly, that doesn't matter so much at first. Um, you can have any of those soybean oils, even um, uh, omega-6 oil uh, um, fatty acids at first, and still, oh, we're not going to have any of those cakes there. <laughs> um, we just passed the deli meat aisle, which is a great place to test out new deli meats. And often I'll ask for just a taste of a new type I've never had. Uh, another favorite of mine here is the liver, liverwurst. Uh, I'm just not going to get that today. So don't worry about soybean oil at first. Um, those, as a relative... Um, uh, take a picture off the cakes there. Um, at first, it's the number of carbohydrates that matter more than the quali food quality. And I know there are a lot of mixed messages about that, And uh, but I've seen people worry too much about the food quality and not be as uh, tight or as strict on the carbohydrate quantity for various reasons. So, um, for example, if you're re really worried about food quality, you wouldn't ever want to go to fast food places. But I uh, just had a patient today who, there was a McDonald's on the way from his home to work, and so he gets a burger without the bun, and you, you relax the standard on the food quality in order to maintain the carbohydrate um, quantity being really low. Um, a pointer. Yeah, if you wanted to do the best diet on earth, I'd say be strict in all of these areas. But, uh, so here's some great seafood. Um, gosh, what a great, uh, I love shrimp, uh, some of the, uh, the shrimp in the other section that was already made, um, and uh, like cocktail shrimp ready to go, uh, all of these are fine, but you want to be careful about breading on the, um, on the fish and seafood, but otherwise these would all be fine to have. Um, I'm just not going not gonna to pick any today. Um, and then the steaks, gosh, these look delicious. Um, Wow. Again, we're uh, doing a food uh, grocery store or um, uh, uh, tour of what you can have on a low-carbohydrate, 
20 gram or less kind of diet. Of course, ground beef will be fine. Anything here in the meat section, it's fine. I just I have enough at home already. Uh, turkey wings, chicken and sausages, great. Um, oh yeah, that Wisconsin thing. I'm used to having bratwurst and sausage. And um, why don't we try one of these uh, North Carolina um, hot sausage? Well, let's see how many carbs are in there. So it's actually three grams for the serving size of one grilled link. So it's uh, rather high for a sausage. I've seen one uh, sausage with one gram or less, but um, what you could do is just have one sausage, and that's three carbs. So it's not forbidden. Well, I'll have a lot of people kind of do the all or nothing. I don't want, don't want any carbs, so I won't have anything. That's pretty restrictive. It's the number of grams that matter, and so if you're looking at a, um, a bratwurst here that has a uh, beer and bratwurst, let's see, has one or two grams per serving, and the serving size is one grilled link, so that would be one or two sausages would have two to four carbs. That, that's reasonable. That's fine. So you, you're not going to um, um, you're not going to have twenty hot dogs or, or 20 of these links all at one time or even over the course of the day. So relax the, the need for something that's zero carbs and you'll have a lot more variety uh, available to you. The, uh, of course here are the turkeys and the, all the things. Remember in the outside of the grocery store they need the power outlets to keep things fresh. This is where the great food is. Um, now, some people come to me and say, oh, you know, I won't do a diet because I, I need alcohol or I need to be able to drink something. Well, no worries. Um, if you really wanted to lose weight the fastest, uh, you would want to stay away from alcohol because alcohol has calories. But probably the one that's uh, marketed most for low-carb beer is the Michelob Ultra. Um, having, um, I thought it was going to be on the label saying how many carbs... I think it's 2.6, because I've seen it on TV. <laughs> um, so a light beer would be a good choice. Uh, usually there are three grams of carbs um, for beer. Uh, now wine, again, you'd want to choose like a, um, a dry wine, either red or white, and um, count one glass of wine, meaning three to four inches, as a um, uh, five grams of carbs. So it would limit you to one drink a day um, and some people can't lose weight and drink a drink a day but others can um, ah, I didn't see my favorite one but anyway um, so it's curious some people again not having alcohol is a deal breaker for even trying to lose weight and that's okay the low carb diet allows you flexibility to be able to um, probably have a little bit especially around the holidays you know if you're doing uh, um, once a month uh, amount of alcohol or um, so even something like Corona Light uh, you know not to push any brands um, but I kind of like that one um, let's see so that's not, not a bad um, shopping cart so far in terms of um, things to have um, let's see again we're at the grocery store seeing what kind of food you could have on a 20 gram or less kind of diet uh, carbohydrate diet. They said, you know, can't ha don't want those fruits in a can, but um, I do know these um, olives. Uh, I, I really like these. Um, again, it's what you like. You don't you don't have to eat these things, but I particularly like the. Um, oh, there's some hot ones. Um, oh, I don't see them today. So the jalapeno uh, olives. Um, let's see how many carbs are in there. There, it's going to be focus. Zero G. I don't think it's zero, but it's going to be pretty close to zero. That's another issue about food labels is that um, if it says zero, it might not actually be zero. They might just be rounding down. But so I'm going to pick up some of those olives. I also like the ones with um, the feta cheese in it. So, um, yeah, there were other ones out there um, with uh, probably fresher, but, you know, I'm going to really just do the carbs rather than food quality and, and freshness, that sort of thing here. So um, pickles, oddly enough, um, or surprising to some people, can be low in carbs. And um, we have some um, 
here in our area um, that, uh, not the sugary ones, but uh, these are uh, kosher dills that have one carb. Again, we're reading total carbs, which means you see the number after total carb is one, so it's one gram or one carb. And then the serving size, one ounce, about one pickle. So, and those pickles are fairly big. Um, I'm gonna get, get these kosher dills, whole baby pickles. Um, now, uh, vinegar in general has no carbs. You want to be careful of some um, one, like the balsamic. Um, some of them do have carbs, like this one, uh, just randomly picking up, has five grams of carbs per tablespoon. That's, that's really high. So, you know, it's a raspberry. That gives you a clue that there's been some kind of sweetener, sugar added to that one. So be careful of some of the, the vinegars, but the true um, vinegar itself uh, it should be low or zero, so uh, that one's not even labeled for it. Um, um, again, we're looking at foods you might have. Uh, what about barbecue sauce? Um, well, some of them are high, some of them are low. Let's see. Um, nutrition facts. One gram, one carb, one for a tablespoon, that's not bad. So if you may, were making your own uh, wings, uh, you might have that Sweet Baby Ray or whatever product. Um, uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, that Honey Sweet, that, that probably gives you a clue that there's gonna be some sugar in it. Now, they've done the label so low, so small. Let's see if that comes out. 17 carbs for two tablespoons, wow, okay, so probably would have got the hint that honey sweet would be off limits, but so some, some sauces are good, some aren't, but if you use the 20 carbs per day rule, total carbs, um, you know, there's a lot of options, um, including even ketchup, um, let's see the, um, oh, here's a good one with the label, no fructose high corn syrup, must be good, huh? Well, you know, to me, fructose high corn, high fructose corn syrup is really just sugar, so this one's still four carbs per tablespoon. That's a little high. You can get ketchup that's down to one gram per uh, tablespoon, like this one. That's going to be one gram per tablespoon. So you don't want to have too much of that, but you can have ketchup. Even um, if you're out and about having a burger somewhere that has ketchup, it's just a small amount. I wouldn't sweat it. I mean, even if it's the the one with the um, high sugar in it. Um, hot sauce in general, uh, the ones that I've seen have no carbs in them or they're going to be very, very low. So for condiments, um, you might choose mustard, let's see, here's mustard, or, uh, or hot sauce. Or make sure the sauces are really low. There's zero carbs for the, the mustard. Um, as an aside, the um, Mustard has become useful, <laughs> who, who knew, in a clinic where some people might have um, muscle cramps because of, uh, in our, my clinic, I'll help a lot of people lose weight. Um, any uh, approach that is effective, you might have some people get muscle cramps. A shot of mustard, just a <laughs> like that, can get rid of a muscle cramp very quickly. Um, it's just a home remedy that is pretty reliable uh, to work. Um, about other types of dressings, um, most most salad dressings um, uh, that are Caesar or ranch or blue cheese are going to be low, and of course oil and vinegar as well. Um, what about this one? It just happens to be sitting there, and there's a total carb. Oh, these are nuts. Oh well, you know nuts. As most people will know, in the first phase, the safe zone of foods, 20 grams or less, or the ADAPT program, or the page four, we say no nuts at first, just because they're so difficult to control. Um, and then, uh, oh, what's this? Oh my goodness. It's something that, uh, oh, it's not really here at the store. I just put it there. It's called an ADAPT coffee shop. So um, <laughs> again, the ADAPT products were designed to allow you to have very low carb products, bars and, and uh, uh, kind of oatmeal or breakfast cereal and coffee shots and fat shots. There'll be other products available. Uh, oh, well, we have to look at the um, carb content of that adapt shot. And let's see, it is actually zero gram. 
Christmas. Hooray! Yeah, we got it right. <laughs> uh, um, what else? Let's see, artichoke heart. I love those mushrooms. They're, okay, we'll want to stay away from the... Well, how much is in corn? Just as a reminder, um, nine grams for a half a cup. Yeah, that's really, really starchy. What about these lima beans? Lima beans um, 17, yeah, so the um, ADAPT program, the allowed food lists that you'll see in various forms, has taken away the guesswork for you to only allow certain foods that are very low um, at first to keep you under the 20 gram limit. Um, well, that, uh, yeah, that, this is all pretty much beans and, and uh, rice and I want to stay away from that stuff. Um, and what do I have so far in my shopping cart? Yeah, all right, not too bad. Got some meat, some vegetables, cheese, pickles, olives. Um, let's see, what's on this next aisle? How about soups? Well, uh, you know, you really have to kind of make your own soup. Uh, most of these, or um, some people will uh, have the chicken noodle soup but just not eat the noodles. I mean, I so there are ways to, if you're faced with a product, um, if you're faced with a product or a, um, even you're at the holiday uh, dinner and all and there are carbohydrates on the plate or in the soup, or, you don't have to eat them. You can just leave them behind. Now, it's funny, I, I, I'll give people permission to not eat the, the uh, extra food that they don't want or the, or the carbohydrates and that seems to, people laugh and uh, uh, so it's okay to leave the carbohydrates behind. Um, one that you might not have thought of, but canned meats and canned, um, canned fish like sardines, uh, canned tuna, um, all of these um, are no, no carbs unless they am added some to it. Now, this one isn't labeled for the carbohydrate content, but um, that one is going to be zero carbs, I'm sure of that one. Um, so the salmon in a can, remember it doesn't matter if it's in a can fresh, frozen, as long as there's no, no carbs. So these should be um, no carbs at all, and unless they added it to, added to it. So yeah, zero grams. Um, I don't eat these myself, but they would be, they would be fine. Again, um, one of the strengths of a low-carb diet is you can eat what you want. You don't have to eat everything. You don't, you don't have to be forced to eat anything, in other words. Um, what about tomato sauce? What about, um, it's all going to depend on the amount of sugar that's added to it. So this is a brand that actually has 10 grams of carbs for a half cup, which is really high. So you want to shop around a little bit. Maybe this um, farmer's market one or, or, uh, sounds a little better, doesn't it? Well, that's 10 grams. Oh, gosh. For the same half cup. So you want to stay away from that one. Um, so, um, uh, some sauces are good, some aren't. Uh, the pasta, not so good, although there is a, a product um, you'll find in some stores called the um, Miracle Noodles or Shirataki Noodles, and they are truly low in carbs. So, um, another popular thing to do, there's some more salsas. Um, I did get salsa before, I just wonder what this one would be. Um, this is a, a larger name brand, I guess, and there's three carbs for two tablespoons, so it's a little higher. But um, that might be okay. Um, these uh, spices in general have no carbs, and I see some sugar has been added to it. So any of these would be fine. Chili powder, cinnamon. Uh, uh, I want to stay away from crackers and all that. Um, there's a saying that uh, a saying that you stay to the outside of the grocery store um, because that's where the power outlets are to keep the fresh food there. And then you want to minimize your time here in the middle of the aisles. That's just the way our American grocery stores are set up. Um, and um, uh, this row, juice and syrup, and you know, I don't know. Let's see in the syrup section. Um, sometimes there's a sugar free one. Uh, you know, sugar free syrup, let's see. No high fructose corn. I bet this one's going to be really high, even though in carbs, even though it says no high fructose corn syrup. And let's see, 53 carbs in a quarter cup. That is sky high. Stay away from that one. But let's see, sugar-free syrup. Um, 
has eight carbs for a quarter cup. That that might be doable if you had just a little bit on your pork rind pancakes. Um, of course, not regular pancakes, of course. Um, if you look at a pancake mix, you're going to see that's 34. Uh, ouch. If you're staying under 20 for the whole day, uh, you'll want to avoid that. Um, so again, we're looking at foods that you can have at a typical American grocery store. Um, going down the aisle that I don't go down much um, anymore because there's a lot of fruits and, and or, uh, fruit juice and even things like Gatorade or, or low Gatorade it still has sugar in it, sadly. I think there is one called Powerade that truly is low in carbs, but all these juices are going to be sky high. I don't really have them except that one, um, you have to kind of search for it, it's uh, the Ocean Spray Diet. It's a little, a little tip that I um, let people know about. The Ocean Spray Diet has two carbs per eight fluid ounces, which is fantastic. If you compare it to um, a no sugar added one, 26 grams per eight ounces, um, or what about just the full 100% um, juice, grape juice, and you're at 38 carbs for the eight fluid ounces. So um, you can see the, the ocean spray, ocean spray, uh, not light ocean spray. Um, that's a, that's someone who bought all the, the wrong type because um, you want to just be sure to check the label on everything before you put it in the cart. So let's see, yeah, I kind of like the blend of the cran grape. Uh, there's also cran, oh wait, I'll prefer the cran mango today. Um, just double check. Uh, oh wait, 27 grand, that's not the diet cran mango. Rats. So, but I do see the cran, uh, diet cran grape. You're probably saying, don't reach that one, not that one. So anyway, there's a really nice if you uh, if you have a real um, sweet tooth and especially fruit tooth, um, the Diet Ocean Spray Cranberry and Cranberry Blends is pretty much the only juice that I'm aware of right now. But again, it's going to depend on where you live, what uh, store you go to. Uh, this is kind of a, I would say, a middle class grocery store that most Americans would have advantage. You know, gosh, I used to eat these all when I was a kid. Uh, let me see. Sorry about that connection issue. Um, this one, um, I was just for kicks. I wanted to see. I, I probably consumed, I don't know, a thousand of these when I was a kid. The um, Pop Tarts. Um, yeah, it's rolling your eyes right now. Let's see. 37 carbs for one pastry. Gosh, I, of course, I couldn't eat just one pastry when I was a kid. So, man. Um, now you can see why. See why I and most Americans struggle with this sweet tooth thing. We were just raised on a, a, a diet of that stuff. Um, I'm looking at the bacon longingly across the way, which is great. Um, I don't need any today, but the bacon and the egg really have no carbs. And then this section, um, and then the sausages and the bacon. Just be sure to check the label. Um, I need a little cream cheese today, so I'll get some here. It's funny, a lot of people say, is it the full fat one? Or, yeah, actually, it is the full fat one. It's, you don't really need to go for the, um, the light. Uh, again, it's the full, total carb. Just check the label, and then you'll get the, in the habit. Um, can you have the processed cheese? Yeah, you know. Um, again, it's the number of grams of carbs. Uh, depending on how strict you have to be, the fillers generally are, are pretty low. Now, this um, aisle... I really don't go very far down because there's a lot of uh, chips and pretzels and all that, but I have to make a stop at the nuts, uh, the peanuts, um, and um, I prefer, um, you know, the nuts pretty much are all the same in carbs, um, although if you really want to, you know, play the game of micromanaging, there are some nuts that are lower than others. I don't, oh, there they are. So. Uh, I like the uh, macadamias. Um, so when you look at them, they're going to be about four carbs for 20 pieces. And um, I find that these are a little less um, addictive than the other nuts. I don't know if that's true for everyone, but um, plus they're 
more expensive. <laughs> um, so I'll get the uh, macadamias, but um, uh, you might have just about any of these nuts. Now, at first, if you're really trying to uh, if you're really trying to standard 20 carbs a day, or if you're trying to find a safe zone and things aren't working for you, and you're trying to get back to something that works, I would drop the nuts really quickly. So because they're really hard to control. I mean, have you ever had the experience where you um, got the tub of nuts and you started eating them and then suddenly they were gone? <laughs> so, uh, if, so at first, I, I, while it, um, uh, how should I say, frustrates some people at first to say, no nuts, you know, but I don't want to give you something that would sabotage you that you're unable to control. So nuts are the classic trigger food, meaning it triggers your hunger, you can't stop eating up. Um, and so at first we'd say, say, stay away from the nuts. Or when you're trying to um, uh, get back on track after, um, oh, like the holidays, like we're in now. Um, so I'm not having any of these, uh, I don't even need to check the pretzels and the chips and all that. Um, now I've gotten, kind of gotten, um, you know, gosh, I've been doing this now 15 years, I think, um, 16, something like that. So. I don't have the sweet tooth plug anymore, uh, well I should say not as much, and so um, I'm starting to enjoy things like seltzer and, and uh, bottled water and um, of course tap water in our area is fine, but uh, I'm just going to get one of these guys. Um, again, um, I, some people are worried about the food quality and they only want things in the bottle or the, or the plastic bottle, or, it really doesn't matter at first, it's the number of grams of carbs in terms of um, controlling diabetes or or leading to weight loss on the low carb or being keto, paleo, any of those synonyms. Um, um, okay. What other, uh, I have to, I'm kind of pressed for time because it's lunchtime here and I'm, I got to get back to work. Um, so I'm going to run over to the, yeah, those, well, there are some yogurts. Uh, this grocery store, uh, actually, they might have the Carb Master yogurt, but most of the um, yogurts have a bunch of carbs in them. This uh, plain Greek usually is six or eight carbs. That, that's still a little high. Um, I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, of course, sour cream is fine, and any of these uh, dips made with sour cream are good, and I, I'm running out of cream, so. Um, I've had some people who, they don't know how to buy cream. I mean, they've never purchased cream because they've been only taught to um, uh, have a low-fat diet. So I'm going to actually get the heavy cream, and uh, I, like that. I like that in my coffee. Uh, sometimes the coffee shots, adapt coffee shots, sometimes um, the cream in the morning. Um, reminds me today... Uh, I had someone come in using the adapt bars and they loved them. They put the adapt bars in the freezer and brought them out and, and nibbled on them and really loved them. Um, so thank you for providing those adapt bars. Adapt your life. Um, here's all the butter. Of course, butter has no carbs. Of course, unless they added something to it, so you want to just double check. And uh, there we are again, zero G, zero grams. Um, when you're reading a label, just as a Another um, uh, check you want to, of course, any sugars and fibers can be added into the total carbs. And um, but the total carb is the the shortcut will give you if total carb is zero, then it has to be um, low, truly low in sugar and fiber. So I'm going to um, pick one that is particularly popular in our area called the Kerrygold Irish butter. Um, for you butter aficionados, um, just double checking that I didn't get the wrong product. Uh, um, now, I do know most of this frozen section it has a lot of carbs. Um, interestingly, we found um, in our area the um, uh, Atkins uh, frozen meals have come out on the shelves, and some of them are truly low in carbs. And uh, But most of these, um, uh, you'll have people using Weight Watchers and Lean Cuisine and all that, and, and they're just not low enough in carbs or healthy choice. Or, yeah, they're the Atkins ones. Um, in general, I don't 
want people to eat the Atkins products because they they tend to be high. Like this one has 33 carbs for the ball. So that, um, the Atkins company, I think, provides a wide range more than just would be acceptable on the low carb um, keto or um, first phase of Atkins. Um, so this one, uh, oh goodness, uh, it's 24 carbs. So I, I thought the meatballs were. Hmm. Well, see, you gotta check. Um, and um, of course, the things like um, Atkins shakes. I've had a lot of people use the Atkins shakes to good success because they have two to five total carbs, watching total, not net carbs, uh, if you're trying to be ketogenic. Um, and uh, But these these ones are just way too high, kind of like the bars, they're, uh, they're kind of high. Um, now you might also, uh, you know, it's okay to use toilet paper on a low, on low carb diet, just joking. Although you might need less, I, I, I've never done a study on that. <laughs> uh, okay, back to... Uh, uh, you know, I really haven't had any issues with different kinds of toothpaste and things like that. It would just make sense to not have uh, sugary stuff um, of mine. Look at the time. Um, I need just one last thing before I run out. Remember, I'm kind of making a quick trip here. Um, let me get some of the... Um, again, there's no accounting for taste. I personally like this one. And let me just look at the, you know, accounting for taste means I might say that I like it or that it's good, but you might not. So just go by the total carbs. Remember, don't look at the, anything on the front of the container, but go right to the back. And there is five grams for one uh, eight, 11 ounce um, pre-mixed shake. So I'm gonna have that. every now and then I like, I like a little chocolate and I found a lot of people like chocolate, so um, in fact, we joke it should be maybe a food group on its own. You know, you look at these other bars, these just, they're not low like these app bars. They're just not um, 27 grand, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's going to end my, my trip here uh, to the grocery store for a quick, you know, just get some stuff to get me through the next few days. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, just again, why is the doctor talking about food? Because food is really, really important. I can take people off medications by just changing the food. Um, and the low carb, high fat lifestyle is a great way to do it. Pretty easy to teach. And I hope I gave you a few pointers on how to go around the store, save some time by not going down into the aisles too much. And um, hope to uh, talk to you again soon on another Adapt Your Life kind of um, video. Remember the products are available at adapterlife.com and um, hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Bye-bye.